G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of All Aussie Outdoors. Uh, today we're heading up to Craig's Hut. I've got my mate Jared with me. Um, we're going to be doing some four-wheel driving. I've got the rod in the car, so if we cross any decent rivers, I'm going to stick my head out and try and catch a trout. Um, weather up there today, 22 degrees and sunny, so the views will be epic. Uh, we've only just left, we've got about a four-hour drive ahead of us, so stick with us. Hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you out there. Um, my day down here, mate. Gravel the rest of the way. Good. Right, eh? Drop some air out of the tyres. Otherwise, room for a bumpy ride. I don't know, go down to about 25 psi I reckon and that should soften things up a bit Happy days Right We've aired down Do it, bud. How are we going with there? Hey. I said we've got an hour to go and we're there. Oh, yeah. How good's the difference with uh, deflated tyres? Straight away. Feels good. It gets a bit heavier and uh, the corrugation runs very bad. It's great. My teeth will remain in my head. Yes. Old time. Yeah. Keep the neighbours out. You here, mate? Pardon? I think. Oh, look at the little lizard. We can catch him. Oh, you little shit. He's quick. Decent view, eh? How cool is this? Ah, shit. I come all the way here and I stub my toe. Oh, no. Classic stitch up by the hut. Snap into my Oh, thank you, sir. Wow. How cool is that? It's good to see no one's abused it. There's no graffiti on the yeah. walls, nothing. Yeah. Windows are all intact. Not a bad view. Apparently you can't camp in here. Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, 
Probably why it's not scratched. Yeah. This is your log cabin. All we need is Wi Fi and I'm set. Yeah, literally. Oh, you'd be set, mate. Water and Wi Fi, and you are set. That's cool. Right, oh, so that's Craig's hut. Done and dusted. Very, very cool. So now we just had a look at the map, just jumped on Hema and had a look, and there's definitely um there's definitely a few more huts along the way that we can have a look at, so we're gonna go do that. Uh, right now we're gonna head across to Mount Sterling and then just past that there's another hut uh, just off the track, so stick with us and uh We'll see you at the next one. Just back where you are. I don't think you can drive up there. I think you got to walk up the up the hill. Hi, yeah. Let's find somewhere to pull up, eh? There it is. Oh, out. No right. good. The very tippy top of Mount Sterling. A lot of that. Pretty cool indeed. So we were, we must have been not this hill here, that one over there. Yeah. Far back over there when I said, oh, look up at that point there, that's where we're going. Yeah, that little, little toothpick on the top. Yeah, so we went down that one up. And then up here. Cool. Photo time. Here we are. Mount Sterling. Tick. Done. So what we're going to do now, we're going to keep going downhill. We've got Mount Buller right in front of me. Um, with any luck, we're going to be able to find a couple more huts. I'm hoping to cross a few rivers. I haven't crossed any of those yet. A few rivers would be nice. River crossings. Maybe catch a little trout. Um, yeah, it's all good. What a place. Oh, can't see. Right, lunchtime. The ham and cheese singer. Grated cheese. Because I don't like cutting the block and because I'm shit at it. We just stopped at the Howcourt Gap, uh, like a refuge hut for lost hikers and stuff like that. And I go into the um, like emergency food, it says on there deposit uh, any non-perishable foods you can. You now there's a gesture of good faith. And I go in there and there's a VB. God bless Australia. God bless it. We have a log crossing here. People have been going over it, sorry, we'll get over, no worries. We can't winch it out the way. Yep, pull left hand down, that's good. Yep, straight it up, straight it up. Yep, give it a good straight now, yep, straight. Yep, bit of right hand down. Follow like that. No 
worries. Awesome. Happy days. <gasps> the front camera's the going. Got that. <laughs> <laughs> change rolls, change positions. Yeah, let's try to uh, Left a bit. Yep. Let's try now. We are nearly at the Haukwa. We're very, very close. I'm starting to get a little nervous because there's a lot of water on the track. I'm thinking they might have had a lot of rain uh, in the last two nights, something like that. I'm starting to get a bit concerned to, to how full the river's going to be, whether we can cross it. It's taken us nearly three hours on this track to get down here. And it's four o'clock in the afternoon now, so there's another three hours back up plus another four hours home, seven hours from now, hope we can get across. Ah, oh, bugger all mate. Uh, it's only shallow as shit, she's like six inches deep. Oh sweet. Come back down the track a little more, and there's another part of the Halkwa here. This spot has got to be worth a fish. When I get a fish in there, I will bear my ass in Burke Street. I had one. I caught a fish, but I didn't land it. So, 25th of this month, Burke Street. I'll see you all there, unfortunately. So, we found Bluff Hut. We weren't expecting to find this one, we didn't um, didn't see it on the map. Seems to be the uh, easiest one to get to and the only one not on the map. Not a bad backyard. The things you come across, very nice. Bluff hut, tick. Done. There you go, doing heaps today.
I just imagine living in one of these way back when when the guys were doing it tough out here. Imagine how cold it would get in winter. Lovix hut, obviously. Lovix. Oh! Beauty, chuck the stove on. Pretty clean, I reckon. How cool is that? Property of Joe Jury. Well, Joe, no one stole your shit yet. Unreal. This would be my room, and that would be the family room. This is where I go when I'm in the shit for making dumb comments. Yep. Look, someone's carved a little dinosaur. That's cool. Cool. Mate, we're doing it out here in four drives. You've got the heater going if it's cold, or the aircon going if it's hot. You imagine that out on horseback in the dead set middle of winter, back in 1942. Yeah, there's four bastards, man. No help inside, no way to communicate with the outside world. No, that's it, mate. They did it tough out here, those old boys. Yeah, they're taking my They would have been like real world survival as well. They would have been, you know, hunting for their dinner and stuff like that. There would, there's no IGA out here. Yeah, exactly. All those, all those skills have just gone to the way. Yep, yeah, just doesn't happen anymore, unfortunately. Well, here we are, 10 past 7 at night, and we've been hard at it since 8 a.m. It's been unreal. I've never been up this way. Uh, I've been to Craig's Hut before when I was about 8, 9 years old, something like that. I don't remember it. I've got photos of it with the old man. Um, but it's been unreal. We've had a great day. We've done a lot of kilometres, seen a lot of stuff. I think we did, what do we do? Craig's Hut, Mount Sterling, Bluff Hut, Howquah River... Lovick's hut, uh, and who knows what else is on the way out, I'm not sure. We're on King Billy track at the moment, which takes us out to Howard Road, which takes us through to La Cola, uh, and then back out to Trelgan and down the freeway home. So, not far now, I think we've got about 20 k's to Howard Road, um, mostly low range, so happy days, in no hurry. It's been unreal, I had a great day. covering some good ground um, from here we'll head out make it to the bitumen from the bitumen we will air up and then head home so stick with us
Righto guys, that's it for us this episode. We're aired up, we're heading home, we're out of here. We got about a three hour drive ahead of us which should put us home about the midnight mark, which is not too bad. Please guys, if you like what you saw, hit like, hit subscribe, uh, share with your friends if you can. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed and I really appreciate it. I've got some new videos coming out soon, hopefully, so stay tuned for those. But uh, as always, until then, take care. Thank you guys.